Manikam, Namaste and Namaskaram. A warm welcome to Sunday Sadhana, your favourite Hindu magazine programme right here on SABC2. The Guru is accorded with immense adoration in Hinduism and is considered to be the link between the individual and the Absolute. Today we honour the Guru as guide when we join the Art of Living Foundation for their I Meditate Africa campaign and then pay homage to Guru Dakshinamurti at the Sri Vishnu Temple in Havenside, Chatsworth. The Art of Living Foundation believe that peace at an individual level ultimately leads to peace in society and to the world at large and that this peace can be attained through meditation. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of Africa Day, its founder and spiritual head Sri Sri Ravi Shankar led a global meditation session promoting the sadhana as a practical tool to achieve peace on our continent. It is estimated that the assemblage united over 10,000 people across 48 countries that connected by live webcast. Sunday Sadhana joined the branch in Chatsworth to learn more. The Africa Day I Meditate program has been initiated actually by one of our senior faculty members, Vani Pavadi, and the inspiration behind this is His Holiness Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. We've been having this peace meditations throughout the world in many, many countries. And so we thought being Africa Day, this is a mass peace meditation for Africa, by Africa, on Africa Day. What's exciting about the program today is that we're actually making history. It's an historic event because thus far, as at today, 23 African countries are on board participating in this mass peace meditation and 45 other countries globally. His Holiness Sri Sri Ravi Shankar is holding peace meditations in various other countries as I mentioned. But this is a first for Africa. We are all connected. You know, whether we believe it or not, we are connected because we all exist in this space. And so when we go into this quietness, you know, this quiet space, then we emit this peace around us, you know, into the environment. And then we spread it. So if just 10% of the people on this planet can get together to meditate, then we can cause this mind shift on this planet you know, from a victim mode to, you know, to walking like a king. The effect of this mass meditation, you know, regarding meditation, many of us just think of meditation at an individual level. And we know that meditation is good for an individual to gain inner peace. For me personally, um, I feel like it's made me grow, especially because I'm a student as well, so I'm, I tend to be stressed quite a lot. So with meditation, it helps me to study more. It makes my mind feel a bit clearer, um, you know, to be more focused. When you meditate, you're also spreading your positive energy. And within my home, I felt like ever since I started, there seems to be a sort of calmness. Um, all of us are a lot closer because once you come and you're spreading your energy, then the next person is grabbing it. And my family also believes in it strongly. We all practice it. We are all connected. We can create a better world. And it starts with something as simple, closing your eyes, meditating, and feeling a deeper connection with yourself. When you feel good, you treat others around you better, and the cycle continues. Who would have thought that the work of ancient scientists would have the power to transform our world today? When you open your eyes, sometimes you have to close them. We attach our peace and happiness to people, situations, environment. And then when the, when the environment and the people are changing, what happens? Life becomes like a roller coaster. Right? So if we take the attention inward, close the eyes, go deep into that quiet space, then whatever is happening around us doesn't affect us. We still maintain that calmness, right? this quietness. Once you feel that peace, that sense of uh, tranquility and peace, calmness, focus of mind within yourself, then you start sharing this with other people in your family, your community, and then it catches on to the whole community and that's when we can bring about this collective consciousness and make a difference to a peaceful, violence-free, crime-free Africa. Take your attention to your feet and to your legs. There's a beautiful uh, Zen saying that everybody should meditate for 20 minutes. And if you're very busy, then you need to meditate for one hour. 
for 15 to 20 minutes, it feels like you've slept for hours. I think it's more because you're going within yourself and you're calming yourself down mentally also. Maybe that's why it feels like it's a deep sleep. People are so stressed and they have no way to channel that energy. And I feel that once they do start meditating or if people become aware of meditating, they will calm themselves down. It gives you a moment to stop and think before you perform an action or you do something bad. It's, it's an amazing feeling. It's like we all have joined together. It's like when there's more people aiming for one theme, it, it spreads, it's greater, it's more powerful and you can feel it. Welcome back. According to Vedic astrology, the positioning of the planets plays an important role in our lives. In Eastern astrology, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is known as Guru, the spiritual teacher. Now Lord Dakshinamurti, who is believed to be the manifestation of Lord Shiva, is its ruling deity, the silent Guru. Guru Payarchi, or the transition of Jupiter, was recently observed at the Sri Vishnu temple and Sunday Sadhana was there to witness this rather unique prayer. This temple was established in 1928 by our forefathers. I'm the fifth generation uh, South African associated with this temple. It was started by a farming community in Zico Valley, Amlas, almost 80 years ago. With the advent of the Group Areas Act, um, the people were forced to resettle. In 1971, the uh, temple was constructed using local labor from the community. When the organization decided that statues were going to be consecrated, we decided that it was going to be Dakshinamurti for our temple because it wasn't heard of in, in South Africa and we decided we were going to introduce this to the temple. The Dakshinamurti prayer is a relatively new prayer that we have in the temple. From 2011, we erected the Dakshinamurti. According to Hindu mythology, Sri Dakshinamurti is an aspect of Lord Shiva as a primordial master, the personification of ultimate awareness, understanding, and knowledge. It's an aspect that represents Shiva. He is regarded as the guru who bestows knowledge, who teaches us music, yoga, and uh, other aspects of Hindu culture. The worship of Dakshinamurti is especially on a Thursday. It's the star of Jupiter, it's the fifth house, the fifth sign, and it's the worshipping, it's the opening of your, your, if you have anything educational and you have educational endeavours, you start off on a Thursday and you start off to Guru. And Dakshinamurti is that who will lead you onto prosperity and onto greater things. Worshipping this aspect of Siva is about dispelling ignorance and gaining knowledge to lead a better quality of life. Traditionally during this period, homas, pujas, archana and Vedic fire rituals are performed. It is considered to be a day marking positivity and blessings.
Lakshmin is referred to as the guru form of Lord Shiva, that one prays to when one wants to attain a boom of doing well in school, doing well in your education, or receiving a promotion at work. And the beauty of Dakshamurti is that we're always learning and we're always becoming better individuals and individuals are always working. Hence, it's important for us to always give thanks to Dakshamurti and pray to Dakshamurti so that we can live better lives and receive better work and also live more peacefully at work, at our place of work. Guru, as a spiritual guide or the Supreme Lord Himself, helps us to transcend our bondage to this material world and experience eternal divine consciousness. As stated in the Guru Granth Sahib, through the Guru's teachings, I merge with intuitive ease into the Lord, the life of the world, the fearless one, the great giver. So do join your local temples tomorrow and celebrate the sacred occasion of Guru Purnima. Keep up the sadhana. Hari Om.